and Chinese painting actually is uh, very much different. It starts from the uh, material. Uh, we use rice paper material. Most of the Chinese artists do. And also the brushes are different. We used pointed brushes mostly than the flat brushes like watercolorists do. We mainly, uh, traditional Chinese art especially, uh, often just use black. We think this is color. So the shades of black, we say that there are the, the, the different shades of color. So we often would just say, the ink has five different colors. This is known in Chinese artists. I often think I'm not just the watercolorist, and uh, because I sometimes do use different uh, media, but uh, mainly I am using the watercolor. I love teaching. When I teach, really, I begin to teach my way, which is sometimes very methodic. I just want them to know exactly how the strokes is, uh, like um, to apply to real traditional Chinese strokes. After that, they can fly free. I started my painting when I was in my teenager year. It was in high school. My mother uh, just recognized there was a master in our city. So she thought, send me over there, well, put me in the right place. The Chinese painting had strokes. The stroke is more important than the shades. It's more realistic to me, I think. If I uh, summarize my painting, I think mine is um, Eastern and Western. But it never was my intention to be in Eastern or Western. I just want to express my own feeling of uh, how I view the whole universe. I had many, many uh, exhibitions, and uh, which I like it very much because that gives me a chance to uh, show it to the public and get the feedback from the public and from the art critiques and so forth. So I thought it is a good way to, to show my painting.